So if we now, let's take a look at DocuSign. So we'll, we'll go to the next step and let's say we're using DocuSign. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on DocuSign and you'll see that it's going to require us to sign in. So we'll click the sign in button and I'm just gonna grab my username and password and we'll log into DocuSign and let's, uh, let's have a look at that experience. So we'll wait for that to load and then we'll authenticate. So we'll pop the email address in like this. We'll click next. I'll just grab the password, which is across here. And then we'll pop the password in and we will now log in. Okay. Now I'll just grab the verification code um, that pops through and then we'll type that in. I'll just click never. So let's enter the code, which is this like there and we'll verify and then we'll be logged in. Okay, so that's gonna spin up and we can see here that we can now utilize and use Adobe Sign. So let's have a look at what that experience actually looks like here. So we might go, uh, let's call this employee um, agreement. We've got some additional details here. Now we've got attachments. This is required because obviously we, we need to send a document because we're using DocuSign. It's a document. We need to send it. We need to get a signature. So I'm going to add an attachment. Now you'll notice that we've got three options. DocuSign allows us to have templates and we can store templates in DocuSign so we can use that functionality. We can use OneDrive or we can upload from my computer. So I'm gonna choose upload from my computer and I'm going to choose a file. All right, so let's find a an employee agreement template, which we've got, or an employment offer letter template, that'll do. So we've got that, we're attaching that to this approval. Now you can see that we've got recipients must complete in order. So if we had multiple people here, we that would be a, a multiple step approval through DocuSign. We can choose the action. We can get a copy or view. We can uh, and we'll choose sign for this one. Now we are going to let me just check here. Where nine eight two? We might send this to Nesta. All right, so. Let me just grab Nesta's email address and we'll pop his details in there and then we will send it to him. So I'll grab, pop his email address in here, .com, and we can choose Nesta and we've got Nesta there. You can see that it does use the people picker as well. So we could just type in their, their name here. We could add additional recipients if we wanted to, but let's prepare this, all right? So it's being prepared because we're using DocuSign, that's gonna pop up here um, in this window, all right? And this is going to allow us to now prepare our document where we can add our signature or we can add our, our DocuSign fields to our document. You can see we've got uh, the documents being added. We've got the recipients that have automatically been uh, filled out because we put, pop that into, into the form that we we're creating. Uh, we can add a message, but we're going to go next. And this is where we can add our, um, our DocuSign fields. So I'm going to add the signature field here. We're going to add the name. We're going to also add the date signed, okay? So we're good to go. That's happy. We're, we're ready to send. And now let's send that across to Nesta, all right? So that's now um, creating, inserting our approval into, uh, into the approvals app. Now, if I go to DocuSign, what we'll see uh, is that we will have, um, in just a minute, what we'll have is our our approval that we've just, and let me just refresh that. While that's refreshing, let's bring Nesta back across. We'll have a look at the, his email, and you can see here that Nesta's just got uh, an email about that employee agreement. Okay, so that's come from DocuSign. Now, if I jump into Teams, go into Activity, what we'll also see is that we've now got a notification in Teams 
alerting Nesta that he has got um, that he's got uh, an approval waiting for him. All right, so I'll jump into the mail. I'll go and review our document as Nesta, and then I can review and sign this. Okay, so let's just wait for DocuSign to fire up here. Uh, and we'll we'll complete this DocuSign process. I agree. Let's continue. Now, if we scroll down here, I'm going to sign. You can see that it automatically adds, we'll just adopt and assign that default, automatically adds his name and also the date field here. We'll finish. And that will then kick off the, um, and this is just the, the, the DocuSign process here. We don't have to, or the end user doesn't have to create an account here. And now we are and have finished, okay? So if I jump back to uh, to Megan now, you can see that we've just got a little notification that the request was delivered, um, or that was a previous one. And what we'll receive shortly is that it will has been, um, that has been completed. So you can see here that I've now got one uh, that Nesta has responded and the last one was the final status and we have all completed. And you can see there's the notification in the activity feed that the final status has been complete. Let's just open that up and have a look at what that looks like. And you can see here that that's been completed. You can see there's the, there's the actual flow of what's happened. And when I click on this document, it's gonna open up that, uh, the, the completed document for me for to, for me to have a look at. So we'll just uh, wait for that to open up, and you can see that there's the envelope, uh, the envelope ID, and also the the actual document itself.